This is on page 56 and is probably one of the most complicated of all the illustrations in the book. And if you understand this, you've really understood a lot of information, a lot of difficult concepts from the MQ primer. So this is essentially what we have already been doing in this video. The question here is, what is new, right? So not a whole lot. Well, I mean, this is the program one, right, that we've been calling this app, app, the air a dot exe, where right now we are in the queue manager a, and this line is going to separate out queue manager b. So we've got two different systems. Now, remember, in the case of MQI, we obviously have a machine that is remote to the queue manager and if and then separately it is trying to put a message onto a remote queue and that is typical we've seen that before how MQI does that and in the case of a remote queue remember that the program is actually doesn't know it's remote it just says oh I just know this name of the queue it's the queue manager that knows that the queue is not on a it knows it's on B and so the way it does that is it sets up the, the first of all, it has a queue, a local queue, right? They're all really local queues, essentially, except for a transmit queue. That's not a local queue. When the message comes in here, the MQ system is going to say, ah, I, I see that I got a message here, and I'm going to put a copy of it here. I'm going to get it into the transmit queue. And then the transmit queue is going to send it out to our queue manager B. Now, at this point, things should be fairly clear. So remember we had talked about this channel initiator is a special type of trigger monitor. And so you can see, you know, the, the message goes in here and the system says, whoa, 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 I see I've got a message. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm, and, and it knows is put that message in here, right? Because, well, create, not put it, not put it there, create a new special message. Remember these messages we've been talking about that were trigger messages, right? They're not the same message as this one. This is one message. And then this one is a special internal message that goes into this queue here. And then once the message is in there, the channel initiator is going to say, I found it. I found something in here. Oh, I got something. I got something. And then it's going to start the MCA because the MCA wasn't running. So that's interesting. And then the MCA itself is going to start the channel because the channel wasn't running. So the channel is now on. Remember the channel is defined, but it wasn't running. Just like our application was there, but it wasn't running. And so now we have, we say, hmm, okay, our transmit queue is now able to transfer across the channel here over to the other side. And the other side is, here we go, so here's our listener that we had talked about. The listener picks it up, so maybe it's going over port 1414. And we say, hmm, okay, now I'm going to shuffle your message off to the MCA. And it's not even so much the message at this point. It's, this is sort of internal communication inside Q Manager B. But in any case, the listener gets it. The listener starts MCA, and then MCA will start up the channel, A.B. Again, it was there, but it wasn't running. And now we have essentially what we've, again, what we've been talking about before. We have this initiation queue down here. For, first of all, that message is going to be sort of put here, right? It's going to be put in that local queue. And then we have this, this again, this monitor, the trigger monitor saying, hey, hold on a second. I see that there is a message that got put into the initiation queue. How did it get put into this initiation queue? Because again, just like we had seen over here where there was this monitoring going on by the channel initiator, we have this system that put this a special trigger message here into the monitor, into the initiation queue, right? And then it got monitored out. It, this monitor says, whoa, 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 I got a message in here. And that message turns on this process. The process is program two. So program two is running now. Program two is on and says, ah, I need to use MQI to go into that local queue and get the message out. And as it says, that was doing a get, which we know is an MQ get. So this message flow is really the same thing that we have been talking about all along, 
but there are multiple pieces going on. It's the same message, and it's flowing through the system like this, and ultimately onto the program. But it's doing it in a way that also in incorporates internal messaging here. So let's do it in a different color. Here. And also, you can see it doing these internal messages here. And those internal messages are used to start the processes that are involved in moving the messages around. But they themselves are not the actual original message here. 